Errors happen a lot in Power Query, for example, like this, or the Power BI equivalent would look like this. Do not click this. Instead, we're going to do a manual thing that does it and refines it way, way more and actually creates this that shows us which row, which column, and what the actual error message is. So I'm going to right click on here and then we're going to choose edit. That's going to load up the Power Query Editor. My name is David and I have tons of videos on Excel, Power BI, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams, using Tech of the Workplace I'm covering on my channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose reference. This is going to be my errors. And then I'm going to add a column and choose an index column from one. This is my row number. And then I'm going to right click on the index column and choose on pivot other columns. And then in the values column, I'm going to go to home tab, keep rows and keep errors. I only want to keep the errors. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of custom code. So add column, custom column. And I'm just going to write try the word try three letters and then double click on value. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Keep it as custom. That's fine. And then I'm going to expand this and I'm going to choose error and then press OK. And this has then the record of the reason, the message, detail, etc., etc. And what I want to get is the message and the detail that you can see over here. So to do that, I'm just going to click on there and choose message detail, untick that. And then I don't need this column, so I'm going to remove this column because that's going to load errors. And now I have the row number, the column name, and the message and the detail where relevant. And I can go to close and load. And this loads it up. I have another video where I talk way more about errors and different types. So if you like this, then check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.